Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to my first video vlog. Or first vlog. <laughs> and I totally didn't have to look up that definition on the Urban Dictionary. Stop judging me. But I wanted to give you an update or actually some information as to what my channel is about. So what I did was I had a couple of friends of mine from work and from school ask me for some questions about what all my channel is about. And then I also asked some questions on my own. And you'll have to take it easy on me. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to read the questions out and let you know what all we're doing here. So, uh, some of these questions they asked me, and I wrote them down. Some of these questions I asked myself in order to answer questions that I think might come up in the future, or questions that are already being asked now. So, I, I also wrote a notepad. Well, so, But it's not a script. There's only a little bit of information on it, so I'm just going to read the questions and answer them to the best of my abilities. Because I already wrote the answers down, but let, I'll get on Questions about your channel. Number one, what's your channel about? Okay, well, I'll set that notebook aside. Basically, I want to do, number one was Let's Plays. Number one was Let's Plays on games that I really enjoyed. Uh, games like Robot Arena 2, Legend of Korra, I literally just finished uh, day before yesterday and uploaded that final video. That was such a great time. Uh, I like different types of games like real-time strategy, which is RTS, uh, TCG, which is trading card games, uh, adventure, anything uh, heavily story-driven has always been something that I really like a lot. Um, basically, but I also know that doing a proper channel isn't just about you know sitting behind a computer and making videos on just video games. I'd also like to do funny skits. Um, what else was there? Uh, there was funny skits. Oh, and there's also a tournament mode that I want to upload. Uh, it's a game that has robots in it. You may have heard of it, Robot Arena 2. I wanted to try to make my own physical tournament brackets and run tournaments like those and keep uh, up with the actual winners and losers on the physical brackets. That way I could run the tournament from home and the audience could keep up from home. So that kind of stuff. Um, I also have a few friends that are probably going to help me with the comedy skits. I also uh, manage another channel. But we won't talk about that here because I, I guess that's just a, that's a plug for now. Uh, I'm just about this channel right now, Russ Robo. So I'll worry about the other channel later. Now, question number two. And I'm sorry if this runs on a little long. There's, there's a lot to cover. There's only five questions. So it gives you an idea of what we're really looking into. And I've never done this before, so go easy on it. Question number two. What's your consistency? What's your upload schedule look like? Okay, that's a good one. Now, that one I asked myself. Lately, for the last two weeks, which is 14 days, I've been managing to upload a video every day, um, and it, it's going pretty good. I usually try to record two and upload one. And, you know, I don't want them to be too boring. I try to put in, I don't want them to be boring at all. I try to put in a lot of effort into them. Uh, it's Usually I record either right after I get home from work or when I wake up. I work the graveyard shift, so having enough energy, it's... I make sure to have enough energy for the videos, but you know, you gotta be dedicated. And it's something that I've been putting a lot of time into, so I try to upload the videos once a day. And I just finished the background for the channel art. Um, it's not quite... Uh, it has the Russ Robo logo on it, just the way I like it but I forgot to put the upload schedule on the lower right hand side. I'm planning on putting like, uh, I'm going to put in texts like something like new episodes every day at 3 p.m. which I'd say they're due by 3 p.m. Is, is when I'd like to have them uploaded. They'll probably be actually hitting the channel before that but the issue with that is I have to work the night shift during the graveyard shift so I upload the videos and finish them and then you know I gotta get some rest before work so they may actually hit the channel before 3 p.m. but I wanted to put a uh, a movable deadline like a uh, uh, not so strict deadline that way it gives the audience time to check up and the video is already there that day as opposed to checking up video ain't there checking up video ain't there checking up video ain't there because no one has time to, you know, check every hour on the hour for any channel. That's, that's ridiculous. 
So I figure that they'll be there before 3 p.m., but I, I would honestly check at, at around 3 p.m. That way you know for sure there's something there. Barring, oh, and I also wrote on there, barring any unforeseen circumstances such as power outages and equipment failure. But I am dedicated to getting the good content out to you guys, the viewers. So, with that said, on to the next question. Numero three. Do you take viewer feedback? That one's easy. Yes, absolutely, I do. Sorry about that. <laughs> I take viewer feedback as far as suggestions for the next videos I should do, and anything on the games that I might have missed. Like if I if I missed items, or there's a better way of doing a certain technique, or you know if I didn't find that secret door somewhere. So I definitely I definitely take uh, viewer suggestions on things like that. Oh, <sighs> take a deep breath. Hmm. But that's also, you know, one of the major things that's really important about having a channel on any social media, especially YouTube. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have, if you don't take viewer feedback, you know, without your viewers, you don't really have a channel. That's just the way YouTube works. So it's really about, you know, you guys as much or maybe even more than it is about me. You know, if you're not entertained, then then I, you know, what are we here for? So I'm I'm out there to give you the good quality content that you deserve. So, with that said, on to question. Again, first time I've done this. Go easy. So I've said that like three times already. Also, this is the first draft. This is like, you know, you know how actors do takes. Yeah, this is take one. <laughs> okay. Question number four, do you have anyone else working alongside you? Uh, answer, currently not at the moment, but I do have a couple of friends that have expressed interest in the channel, like they'd like to appear uh, as like special guests, but I'm not like super famous, so they wouldn't really be special guests, they'd literally be just there on the channel with me doing, you know, friendly stuff, just as important as me. Um, uh, Brandon, a friend from work, has expressed interest. Skylar, a friend from school, has expressed interest. Um, some guys I used to work with, uh, Arthur and Jason, they've expressed interest. Uh, Ethan, who's basically like a little brother to me, he's expressed interest. Uh, Jason actually appeared in an earlier video called, uh, I think it was Dork's Play Games. It was a video on Robot Arena 2. I don't know clarity. He couldn't actually be heard because... Back then I had a dirt garbage mic that only got one person at a time because it was a little headset hanging down here and it cost $14. This mic isn't nearly, this mic is a good mic. It just needs better ambient settings. Like for example, I might want to try to get some uh, sound, sa not soundproofing, but I think it's sound insulation walls behind because right now it sounds like I'm in a big room, which I am in a big room. It's a big room. I love it. But it's like it's got that cave noise to it, and I'm not really too fond of it. So I'm gonna try some, some audio dampening. That's what it's called, dampening. <laughs> uh, and with that said, I believe it is question number five. So the final question, and of course that had to be continued on the next page. Oh, and and uh, look, look, look. oh boy. <laughs> no, I won't cut it. Oh, there it is, okay. It's fucked back on this one. Okay. What do you plan on doing with the old scenes, or old series like Besieger, Fate, and Aliens vs. Predators? That's a good question. That's actually one that I had to answer, I have to ask myself, so that it may answer a question that someone else has later on. The reason those series are currently being discontinued, the honest reason, is because they're older games, older series on older games that aren't, you know, they don't get a lot of likes, uh, they don't get a lot of searches, they don't get a lot of search results, but there's good news. However, there's good news. As far as it goes with those series, they will remain on the channel, that content will remain there. And if anyone actually wants me to revisit those games or revisit that content, if I have the time, what I'll do is I'll take that content, take that series or that game or that skit or whatever it is, and put it into a separate playlist labeled Back by Popular Demand or just Back by Demand and resume that series whenever I have the time. Uh, currently I plan on uploading one video a day at least 
Uh, today's upload is actually a little bit special because it's just this vlog and one other game that I wanted to show you, um, which is it's important to try to upload it today because I want to get you, I want to give you a good idea as to what's coming out now that Legend of Korra has been basically cleaned. And before you wonder, I did actually get to extreme mode on Legend of Korra, and it's it's pretty interesting. There are still a lot of moves, uh, like um, different moves that I bought, like the Water Whip, Fire Dash, and other things on Legend of Korra that, you know, once you max out your bending and max out your chi levels, there are some really cool combos that you can do. So if anyone wants to see that, uh, you can let me know. I'll add it to that playlist, Back by Popular Demand, or just Back by Demand. And I'll resume that playthrough, um, do a few more things on it whenever I can, whatever you want to see, and it's all good. Uh, as far as that goes, those are pretty much all the questions I had written for the channel, and that's this vlog is basically to explain what the channel is about, basically. And I've really had a great time doing it so far, and I'm still learning so much. I have a whole book full of notes, and. Possibly, if I ever even get good enough at it, I might have some techniques to share with some other people someday that they might want to use. There are some YouTubers, there's lots of them out there that are making millions of dollars, they're way better at it than I am. I'm trying to learn from them, and I'm taking a lot of notes. Maybe someday I can help somebody else out the same way they've helped me, but I'm not going to drop their names here because that's tacky, and it's also content copy or dropping names or something. It's something you're not supposed to do, I can't remember why. I don't know why, because I'm not like, I'm not into big, like, social media like that yet, because I'm just starting out the YouTube channel, I'm trying to get the Facebook channel and the Twitter channel and stuff all linked together, and it's difficult for me, but that's why I said I was taking notes, but I'm rambling. So, thanks everybody for watching, and until next time, take it easy my friends.